What's going on YouTube? Plant Based News here with Ali. I'll link his channel down below. Yeah. We're balancing on a, she pan down, just like showed it. We're on a little bit of a fence. Animal sanctuary. Uh, animal sanctuary, Woo! we're having fun. And yeah. Uh, yeah, this week doing the news is uh, That Vegan Couple, over to them. Hi everyone, I'm Natasha. And I'm Luca. And we are That Vegan Couple, and today we're presenting Plant Based News. First story. Animal rights activists in New York City blocked Lady Gaga's SUV as she left a billboard Women in Music Gala. The protesters said that Lady Gaga appeared to turn up the volume on her radio in an effort to tune out the activists, who used a megaphone to inform her that 50 dead animals on each of her fur coats were either gassed, anally electrocuted or skinned alive. Shame on you Lady Gaga, that is a bloody disgrace. Shame on you! The documentary Earthlings was removed from YouTube a while ago and now vegan YouTubers are getting copyright tracks without warning for not taking it down. So personally we think this is really disappointing to hear. If you are a YouTuber and you've uploaded Earthlings to your channel, please remove it as soon as possible to avoid a strike. So Earthlings has been taken, what do you think about that? That is pretty, is it a bad thing for veganism? I guess so. Uh, to be honest, veganism is pretty unstoppable right now. So even with Earthlings off of YouTube, I understand it's still going to make progress. You don't need Earthlings. How and you know what? There's a load of free footage online anyway. Yeah, mercy, mercy for animals. animals. Pizza. Another thing, like creating a documentary, like people don't understand it. it takes a lot of time, a lot of money. This is his job, and so you Sean can't expect Morrison, him. Yeah, the guy made Earthlings. The direct, like he created this, and you know, oftentimes we often think like, right, we need to get the message out there for free, so it reaches more people. At the same time, Sean Monson has to pay the bills. A new vegan fast food concept is opening in San Diego, California. Plant-powered fast food is due to open in early January. They will offer an entirely plant-based menu that features burgers, shakes, fries, tacos, wraps, smoothies, salads and fresh juices. That sounds very exciting. Absolutely. Mm. Customers will be able to cruise into a Sonic-style driver, order through a kiosk and wait for a staffer to bring out the food. The vegan fast food spot will also offer a sit-down interior. Very cool stuff. The company is founded by ethical vegans yeah. and says the brand is really about turning people onto how delicious plant-based food can be. Zach Vuga. Vuga, VP of Operations, says our brand isn't preachy, the food itself is the message. That is perfect. The second location, also in California, is due to open in spring 2016. The team is looking to create a regional chain of vegan fast food eateries over the next several years. How fantastic. After about six months, they're actually planning to kick off a breakfast menu featuring egg sandwiches, bagels, and vegan cream cheeses and more. Excellent. Fantastic. And speaking of California, Californian vegan YouTubers, happy healthy vegan. vegan. <laughs> Did a video recently on the cutest vegan YouTube guys and the friendly activist made the list. I really like Ollie Teresi and there's a reason why, which Ryan totally knows. I Ali, think... the friendly activist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you haven't already noticed, the guy that they were just mentioning, who's in the best looking male YouTube list, is here with me now. What, how do you, like, what? what's, what's <laughs> the reaction? I don't know, like, I've, I, I've got a crush on Angie, so I mean, it kind it's of works out. Yeah, <laughs> mutual. I, I think she's a beautiful woman, and um, I'm really humble by it. Got some nice comments in that video. And, uh, I don't nice, know. nice one, happy, I, healthy too, vegan. Yeah, man. I don't think I, I think loads of other people. Would, yeah, you deserve to be in there, man. Nah. Yeah. And be, like vegan activist and like all these other awesome. And lots people. of Joey guys. Joey Armstrong. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, lots of it. guys recently have come into the movement. Oh yeah. yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's we, exploded. We need some more dudes. We need some more dudes. Anyway, from happy, healthy vegan back to that vegan couple. Why didn't I make the list? It's all right, babe. You're at the top of my list. And speaking of the friendly activist, he met up with Kip Anderson, the producer of Cowspiracy, recently in Paris, and it's likely they will start making Seaspiracy in 2016, which will be Cowspiracy's sequel. We got talking because they actually reached out to me at first. And nice. To me to, After watching your Seaspiracy. Yeah, and so like, you know, you're going to be in Paris, we'd like to meet you, and like, we just talked about a few things, hung out like for the week together. There's, there's a few vlogs on my channel for that. And um, basically, yeah, they're, they're going to be uh, co-producing it. And there's already nice. some funding coming through from all oh, their so angel investors. And I'm going to be starting an Indiegogo campaign soon. But the Exciting times. Good job, guys. And speaking of Cowspiracy, Kip Anderson recently screened Cowspiracy to the European Union Parliament. The event lasted over four hours and included engaging dialogue, speakers, Q&A and the film. 
That's some serious veganising. That's awesome. Kip said it was a great success, and two Parliament members who were especially affected by the film are giving 750 DVDs as holiday presents to every single European Parliament member. Spread that vegan Christmas cheer! Absolutely. <laughs> and the Italian Parliament is also screening the film in a few weeks. Bravi ragazzi! Bravi! You can have your vegan pizza and pasta too! <laughs> Kip also said that a new study came out today saying that everyone in Europe is now vegan. And it's 100% true because you heard it here on Plant Based News. <laughs> Thank you, that vegan couple, for doing that. Um, I think you've got an awesome page, I'll link it down below. Like a lot of people contact me, like, Klaus, how do I sell a YouTube page? I think they are a perfect example of how to do it. A couple really of vlogs stuff. every week, a yeah. couple of celebrity videos. Um, they've got a really good balance, so keep it up. Absolutely, love those guys. Any like closing remarks? Thanks for watching another All episode right. of Plant Based News. Subscribe to him. You can check out my channel down below and look forward to the next episode coming soon. See you soon. Bye, guys! <laughs>